Welcome to the world of coffee, an aromatic journey of flavors, textures, and aromas. Today, we'll dive into an intriguing comparison between the two most popular types of coffee beans, Arabica and Robusta. Welcome to the world of coffee, a universe filled with aroma, flavor, and endless varieties. Today, we'll delve deep into the two most popular types of coffee beans, Arabica and Robusta. The Arabica bean, named after the mountains of Arabia, is the most widely consumed coffee bean worldwide. It's appreciated for its smooth, sweet taste and complex flavors that can range from berries to nuts. On the other hand, Robusta, originating from Sub-Saharan Africa, is known for its bold, robust flavor. Its taste profile is often described as earthy and bitter, with twice the amount of caffeine compared to Arabica. One of the key differences between the two lies in their cultivation. Arabica beans require high altitudes, cool climates, and plenty of rainfall. They're also more susceptible to disease, which makes them more expensive to grow. In contrast, Robusta beans thrive at lower altitudes and warmer temperatures. They're also more resistant to pests and diseases, making them cheaper and easier to grow, hence their use in instant coffee products. The shape and color of the beans also differ. Arabica beans are oval and slightly curved with a crease down the middle, while Robusta beans are rounder and straighter. Arabica beans are lighter in color, whereas Robusta beans have a deeper green hue. In terms of caffeine content, Robusta beans take the lead. They contain almost twice as much caffeine as Arabica. This not only makes their taste stronger and harsher, but also provides a better kick for caffeine lovers. But if you're looking for a smoother and more balanced cup of coffee, Arabica might be the one for you. Its lower caffeine content and higher concentration of sugar give it a refined taste that is loved by coffee connoisseurs worldwide. Another interesting difference lies in the foam, or crema, of espresso. Robusta beans produce a larger amount of crema, which is thicker and longer lasting. This is why they're often used in espresso blends. Despite these differences, neither Arabica nor Robusta is inherently superior. It all comes down to personal preference. Do you enjoy a strong, full-bodied cup of coffee that gives you a jolt? Or do you prefer a milder, more nuanced flavor profile? In the end, whether you choose Arabica or Robusta, what matters most is the quality of the beans and how they're brewed. So next time you enjoy a cup of coffee, take a moment to appreciate the unique characteristics of these remarkable beans. And remember, regardless of the type, the best coffee is the one that tastes best to you. So explore, experiment, and discover your personal coffee preference. After all, coffee is a journey, not a destination.